This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We're cracking on with our series of testing the maximum ranges of missiles in DCS World. We've relatively recently had two new missiles added. The iDarby ER, part of the JAS-39 Gripper mod, and the Mica NG, which is part of the Rafale mod. So we're going to try the maximum range shooting of both of them. In the usual style we do with all the usual parameters. We've done so many of these now, I'm just going to assume you know what the parameters are. Both of these missiles are Fox 3s, active missiles. The I Derby ER, developed in Israel, has a maximum claimed range of around 60 nautical miles and a maximum speed of Mark IV. The Mica NG, French missile, a maximum claimed range that we found of around 40 nautical miles. The I Derby ER, developed in Israel, used in several other countries, including India. We'll be firing from a Jazz 39 Grieben at 52,000 feet, its maximum ceiling and its maximum speed We'll be firing at our obligatory target of a C5 Galaxy, because it's the biggest or second biggest radar cross section we've got in DCS, running at its maximum altitude of just under 40,000 feet and its maximum speed of about Mark 1, uh, 0 0.8, I believe. This is going to give it the absolute best case conditions that we can get. The test will be done, of course, by firing at the maximum possible range as to where. The C5 Galaxy was when we took the shot. So it's the maximum ballistic range, trackable range of the missile. So I'm going to reset and let's get started. Power on, maintain Mark 2 or thereabouts. BBR mode. Radar on. Lock the target. Lovely big radar cross section. Check the distance. You can see in the HUD there, the distance is about 141 nautical miles are there. Let's try firing at this distance and see what happens. Missile away. Derby out. Up it goes to space. Boom. Okay, we're going to level ourselves out. You can see it's telemetry down at the bottom. About three and a half thousand knots. At this altitude, let me know what you think that mark is. I would say it's about mark eight. And this altitude is 80,000 feet and climbing. I have to pop into here occasionally because we have to maintain lock, of course, until the missile goes terminal and turns on its own sensors. 95,000 feet. You can see my mark there. Mark is Mac 2. Point. We started about Mac 2.2, I think. It's now getting lower to about Mac 2.15. The missile is 117,000 ASL and down to 2.8 thousand knots. 126,000 feet, and it's peaked and it's on its way down in a surfing action at 2.4 thousand knots. Still surfing, 106,000 feet on its way down to 40,000. Oh, and it's tilted. It may have turned it on its own sensor now, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to take any risks. I'm going to continue to track the target. 97,000 feet. Can't see the gal. Oh, there's the galaxy, look. Can you see it down there? You can see its contrails. It's going to be an interesting shot. And there, it's terminal. It's turned on its own radar. I can uh, lose lock now and it will still track. Here we go. Enjoy. Or well, if it wasn't terminal, it definitely is now. Looks like we're going to get a hit. Oh, look at that. It's dipped under. Just missed it. Well, of course, I knew it was going to do that. Why has it done that? Because it's lost battery. It's run out of battery at the last second. So that was slightly too far for it before the batteries went out. So let's do that again at what I now know is the maximum range. R equals 135. 135 nautical miles. Won't bother watching it this time. We know it's uh, flight trajectory. So it's probably terminal by now. And if my calculations are correct, my battery calculations, we should get a face full of I Derby ER. Stand by. Boom. Galaxy down. Would he do that much damage to a real C5? Probably not tiny little warhead it's not designed for taking down a giant thing like this but it doesn't really matter and 135 nautical miles in optimum parameters now let's try the mica ng so power on psi neutralize evr on radar on 
wait for a contact. Our contact got him at a range of 160 nautical exactly, 160 nautical exactly, and unpause, fire. Mika NG away, off she goes. 70,000 feet, 80,000 feet, wow, 9,000 knots, 10,000 knots, 11,000 knots, 11.7 thousand knots, that is about Mach, about Mach 30, Mach 50 or something? Okay, cruising at solitary, oh, this is going to go too fast, and cruising at solitary 11,000 knots. Can't keep up with it. Imagine trying to dodge a missile at 11,000 knots. I was down to 10,000 knots though, so it's okay, 136,000 feet. 9,000 knots, 8,000 knots. Terminal. Wow, oh, hypersonic. Wow, 8,000 knots happened so quickly, I couldn't even see it. I couldn't even see it in slow motion. There you go. Let's report back to the scoreboard. I, Derby, ER, Fox 3, manages 135 nautical miles, claims 60 in real life, and its limiting factor was definitely battery life. Next, Micah, NG, in the Rafale mod, Fox 3, made 160 nautical miles with a peak 11.7 thousand knots of airspeed and it was limited by the radar range i can't lock anything in any radar in dts more than 160 nautical miles it should be i think about 40 nautical miles and we think it should be maxing about mach 4 are those realistic you'll have to make your own judgments i'm just here to do the testing simba has also spoken to the makers of the creeping mod and they have apparently got the aim 120 Charlie 7 working in the next update, so we'll go and test that, and hopefully that's been made realistic. Anything you want to add, Simba? Uh, nope. That's all. Bye.